And uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this uh, very special uh, edition of uh, Saturday Morning New Distributor Training. My name is Fred Holmes. I'm an independent distributor with Isogenics, Isogenics 2.0, remember that. And uh, excited to be uh, hosting this uh, morning. Uh, we got a lot in store for you, but I want to first do, uh, you know, the, the customary welcome to all of you, in particular, those of you that are our brand new distributors. Um, one of the things that's most important uh, about our profession, and one of the things that attracted me so much to this type of business, um, what, 35 plus years ago now, was the concept of being able to start a business, immediately getting into profitability, um, and and frankly, you know, start a business with, you know, very, very small capital to start the business, get profitable right away, create earnings, create profits um, while you're learning. And the whole foundation of what we do is that the people who have come before, the people that have already learned how to do this, who are building their businesses, they are incentivized to be able to support and help the brand new people. And that's what this really represents this morning. Uh, every Saturday morning, especially for those of you that are new to us, every Saturday morning, myself or one of the other leaders uh, will be doing a new distributor training. And it'll be on a different topic, uh, you know, a subset of, uh, of actions or what have you. Uh, but what I want to do, especially for those of you that are first time attendees, I want to direct you uh, to some resources that you're going to want to, you know, kind of get underneath your belt right away to get some foundation to what it is we're doing here. And then that way you can take advantage of the ongoing training uh, that exists in many different formats and certainly here on Saturday morning new distributor training. So I'm going to put this in the chat box. Uh, I'll put the link in there and then I'll also just tell you what the link is, but some of you can cut and paste this if, um, you know, if you're on your computer or what have you. Um, I have a YouTube channel. Some of you are probably watching the YouTube channel uh, right now, watching the replay of this broadcast. Uh, in that YouTube channel, let me put the address in the chat box, it's www.youtube.com forward slash Fred Holmes Zija. And uh, so that's the, um, the uh, website address and it doesn't actually look like it's uh, translating into a click clickable link. Uh, Zoom has been doing a lot of uh, changes in their platform so I'll say it to you one more time, www.youtube.com forward slash Fred Holmes Zija. So my name I'll put together, Fred Holmes, H-O-L-M-E-S, and then the four letters Zija, Z-I-J-A. Now, when you go to that um, YouTube channel, you see a playlist tab there. Oh, it is clickable. Really, I wonder why it isn't clickable for me. Okay, well, very good. It's, it's clickable for Mary. So if, you, if it's not clickable for you, get a hold of Mary Gervais, she'll help you. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, there's a playlist tab on that YouTube channel. And I want you to click on playlist. You'll see four little videos there. And these are the kinds of things that I was exposed to uh, 30, like I said, 35 plus years ago, I was a cross country truck driver. Uh, seriously and desperately looking for a way to create a, a, a much higher level of income than a truck driver can earn and, and to have more time freedom in my day-to-day -day life so I could provide for the needs of my uh, special needs son. And these were the things that I was exposed to in the very earliest days of, of my uh, you know, uh, tenure in this profession. And, and I kind of want to, you know, I'm not going to brag here, but I'm going to tell you uh, and kind of try to uh, uh, emphasize how important this information is. With that information that you'll find on the, uh, on the YouTube channel playlist, uh, that is what I used to literally go from brand new novice distributor, knowing nothing about business or the network marketing profession, to creating a multiple seven-figure income and retiring 10 years later. Now, I'm not going to try and tell you that everybody's going to have that experience. What I am telling you is that if you have, you know, high level, uh, you know, uh, desires, okay, high level willingness to work, high level coachability, willing to learn, high level, you know, reasons why you need to succeed, 
This information that you'll see there, that is the foundation of what I use to create, you know, a lifestyle that, you know, frankly, I never dreamed was going to be possible. So uh, the very first video is called New Distributor Training. It's the foundation of everything we do in network marketing. It's about 30 minutes long. Uh, there's three more additional little videos, uh, how to create a prospect list like a professional, uh, you know, how to develop your personal success story. Uh, um, that'll be critical. That'll be your number one tool. How to uh, be able to, um, um, Connor, my uh, director of uh, agricultural department is uh, banging around outside. Sorry, I got distracted. Um, the, uh, uh, you know, and then the 90-day game plan is the third uh, of those three little mini videos. Uh, take the time to go through that. I think you're going to be find it very helpful. Don't expect to see any fancy production or whatever. It was just me with a camera sharing stuff that had been shared with me many years ago. Now, today, I'm extremely excited. Uh, I'm going to have Christine Holland joining me here in just a moment. Uh, some of you may, uh, you know, some of you might be a uh, part of my mailing list or maybe you saw the post on the, um, uh, on Facebook. Uh, Christine Holland uh, just hit a, a very significant accomplishment. She achieved crystal executive in 30 days. Now, that's a big deal. For those of you who are brand new, um, don't worry so much about the terms and that sort of thing. That's not the, you know, that's not a big issue. Uh, what the big issue is, is that she did something that's considered a big deal. If you do it in six months, she did it in 30 days. And she, you, some of you will remember just, it's probably been about three or four weeks ago, Christine joined me uh, as a brand new crystal manager, okay, where she had accomplished essentially 20% of what she did has done since that time. And she was sharing how we can make money using this crystal program, the crystal bonus program. So I've asked Christine to come back. Uh, she is going to share with you the concepts, the, the focus that she used to be able to accomplish this. And, and here's what I want you to do. If you're a brand new person, okay, don't, you know, don't look at this in terms of this is something that you can duplicate in 30 days because Christine had an advantage, okay? She's been working the business for a while. She had a team to work with. But I want you to think of it in this terms. If you follow the things that Christine is gonna share with you and you're willing to commit, you know, an hour a day to your part-time business, you can accomplish everything she's accomplished and receive all of the rewards that she's received. And it is a realistic game plan to creating a stay-at-home business that can create a full-time income. So let me bring Christine over to this side of the uh, uh, webinar. And uh, uh, I'm really excited about this. Christine, is a, we've been talking here over this past week. She's been sharing with me the things that she wanted to bring to the table. Christine, how are you? I'm awesome, I'm awesome. Hey, hey, are you in a new room now? No, we. I got a treadmill, so I have changed the room. I still have my everyday work as a day at the beach backdrop, but um, but you can see my Hawaii there. Let's see. There they are. Oh my yeah, yeah. yeah. So I still have my I still have my Aloha in here, but yeah, I know I've changed my room around and it's, it's actually a much better workspace. I love it. I like it. it looks very clean. I'm still sitting on my ball, and you're gonna need me a lot of time. So everyone has to understand that Christine bounces when she talks because. I'm just one of those. I'm a bounty ticker kind of person. <laughs> I, that is killer. Yeah, and I can just see you sitting on that ball. I, I may have to get one of those things. That sounds like a way to, to get that right. extra thousand steps in or something, right? There you go. All right, very good. Well, Christine, um, uh, uh, very excited about what you've accomplished. Uh, I was actually reviewing the, um, the training that we did together a few weeks ago. You had just hit uh, Crystal Manager, I believe. And, uh, and I'm going to want to redo that with some, uh, you know, some, um, you know, PowerPoint slides and that sort of thing. So people are, are, can be a little bit more clear on exactly the kinds of income that these, these individual accomplishments can, um, can provide. Uh, but we were talking uh, uh, earlier this week uh, about this extraordinary thing that you did to achieve 
uh, what the company uh, you know shares in their in their crystal bonus program is a six month uh, game plan, and you did it in thirty days. And uh, and and again, and I did you know full disclosure, folks, especially for the new people. Christine uh, is one of our well established distributors. She's been doing this for a while. She's been working with us. She's got an organization of people. You know, one of the people that she was able to promote to help you know grow to. Uh, crystal manager uh, was her mother. Okay, so she had some people to work with. What I really want to, uh, and Christine will focus on this, it's the, you know, step-by-step -step process. You know, what if you don't have an existing organization? You know, what if you're not as cool as Christine, right? What if you're just new? No problem there. <laughs> if I can you do know. it, anybody can do it. Well, it's a, it's the concept here is that, you know, anybody who's willing to work, willing to learn and has that desire to succeed. Those are the prerequisites because I'm going to be real candid with you folks. If you're looking for, you know, easy money, money for nothing, buy a lotto ticket because we know what a great investment that is. But if you're looking for a realistic path to investing some time working with people who are here to help you, who desire to help you, to teach you everything they know, and you're willing to put in the work, this is a reasonable and realistic path to uh, an incredible opportunity. And uh, Christine, I'm just gonna kind of step out of the way. Uh, I got, got a brand new blank page. Okay. I got my fancy Good. dancy pen. I mean, geez. I've owned suits that don't cost that didn't that cost as much as this pen. Like so, I got my fancy pen out. Lifestyle people can create right there. Fancy pen lifestyle. That's it. Fancy pen lifestyle. Hey, me and you will both trade dancing on the beach lifestyle for fancy pen lifestyle, right? Hey Amen. Oh, I have to. Ooh. I got my gear, but you can't see it because I'm sitting on the ball. I gotta gotta adjust mine. But yeah, thanks, Fred. I, I want to get I want to get the Isogenics T-shirt. I got it from the year. Apparently, we're getting some new stuff, so that'll be exciting. Excellent. All right, Christine, tell us how you did it. So, thanks for having me. I get super pumped and excited about sharing how people can um, reach their goals, reach their dreams. And I want to kind of frame this up with with two things. Which one, Fred has already hit. Um, I I don't want people to think um, that you know, I, if you're somebody who just became an associate, you just switched from being coming a customer and you're looking at how to build this, um, I'm gonna tell you what to do step by step, but don't get caught up in the 30 days because I did have, I have a tribe of people. One of the things I love the most about our profession is that you cannot be successful without helping other people be successful. So anytime I achieve anything personally that rewards me, it's really the group of my entire tribe. I have a tribe of amazing, wonderful people that I love. We call each other a tribe because we're family and not, we don't, team sounds like too much work. And we like to have fun as evidenced by me on my bouncy ball. The other thing I wanna frame up is um, we're using this term crystal executive. If you're new, you have no idea what that means. So I'm gonna give you just one little thing that's gonna make it worth it. It means $3,100 in your bank account. Who couldn't use an extra $3,100 in their bank account right now? with the potential to earn another thousand. So a total of $4,100. So I think that's really, while you're helping so many people, blessing so many lives. So it, it's a win-win. So I just wanted to clarify for the new people, you know, the term crystal executive does not mean a whole bunch, but um, when you talk about being able to have that extra money in your bank account, especially in the crazy world that we're in right now, that's huge and help your family, your friends, your neighbors, the people that you care most about do the same thing. So I'm going to tell you the very first thing you have to do is decide you're going to do it and commit to doing it. Um, you know, I've got my whiteboard. That's my goal whiteboard. And that's what I'm doing this weekend is resetting because we are transitioning from um, Zija. I mean, I'm fully transitioned to Isogenics, but I'm going to set my Isogenics goals based on what they offer us. But you have to decide what that you want to do this and then really, really commit to doing it. And the very next thing you need to do is set yourself up for success. And what do I what do I mean by that? Well, how are you going to do it if you don't know what you're going to do? You have to understand the plan. And there's two key things that I really want you to do to understand the plan. First, go to ISA Business. Um, 
icgenicsbusiness.com and download their My Next 90 Days book, okay? And if nothing else, go to page 47. And page 47 is your roadmap. That's what you need to have. Print it out on your desk, on your wall, wherever you're gonna work. And you need to, you need to understand this. You need to commit this to memory. Um, but you're working with somebody. Somebody else introduced Isogenics to you. And that's the person you need to reach to and ask them to work with you to explain this. And, and if, if they're not able to, then reach up, reach up. There's, there's so many of us here that want to help you. So know the plan. The second way you're going to really get to understand the plan so you can commit to it wholeheartedly is go to either Isomovie um, or go to, which is a website, go to isomovie.com or to YouTube, the Isogenics channel and watch Kathy Cooper, who's one of the co-founders of Isogenics, do the fast track to executive video. It's about 11 minutes long and it will step by step. So have this paper, have a notebook and go through and listen to Kathy Cooper explain exactly step by step the actions that you have to do. So you have to know the plan, okay? What else do you have to do to set yourself up for success? Well, you have to be using products, right? But a key number you need to understand is you have to be bringing in 100 in the ICGX world, we call it BV. In the Zedra world, we call it PV. Basically, it's 100 points. You have to be personally using at least 100 points of product each 30 days. Now, I'm going to tell you, you can see I'm slightly addicted to BIA. I think I had, if you're friends with me on social media, you saw a tower of, I think, eight cases of BIA and six cases of decadence bars. My whole family loves the products. We're using them. We're using way more than 100 BV, so that's not a problem for us. But if you want to play in the compensation plan, which is what Crystal Executive is all about, a key number you need to remember for you and everyone else that's going to help you get to the Crystal Executive or $3,100 is 100 BV, 100 point order, okay? And then the next thing you need to do is create your story. Now, Fred does an amazing job. He's done tons of trainings here on this uh, new associate training on Saturday mornings. Um, and he already directed you to his YouTube channel, which has a great playlist that teaches you how to create your story. And your story can be a product story. You, your story can be about, oh my gosh, I lost, my husband's lost 20 pounds on this. And that really wasn't part of the plan. I've lost 10 and I was in pretty good shape to start with. Um, it can also be about how you're sleeping better, you're feeling better. It can be that you maybe joined, enrolled two people and got your, your, your system paid for and you ate for free. So, but Fred will help you in that playlist video, teach you how to create your story. And you don't want your story to be something that's super long where people's eyes roll back in their head. You want it to be, you know, a minute to two minute, even 30 seconds if you can, impactful. You know, what did you do? Why did you do it? And where did, where did it get you? Okay, so creating your story. The next thing you gotta do is you gotta get out there and do the do. And doing the do doesn't mean it doesn't mean printing these up. It doesn't mean hanging up your whiteboards. It doesn't mean setting all your goals. It doesn't mean um, even posting social on media is kind of iffy depending on how you do it. Doing the do means talking to enough people, um, sharing your story that you've created and your excitement to find two people that want to have what you have, whether that's the weight loss, the energy, the sleep, they want to create a part-time or full-time residual income stream. But in, one of the key things I just said is talk to enough people. So I will tell you, and Fred and Pat Anderson and David Moses and you know our upline support team here will tell you that they blow me away because they've been doing it a lot longer than me, but I've talked to a lot of people. I've heard a lot of people say this wasn't for them and that's okay but I talked to enough people that said, yes, they did want what I had to move forward to get to Crystal Executive. So that's key, talk to enough people and be okay with it. Be okay with their answer, love them where they're at because I will tell you that sometimes when people say no, it, 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 very rarely does it really mean no. It really usually means not now. They're gonna watch what you're doing or it's just not the right time in their life. So just love them, keep those relationships and move on, but you gotta keep talking to people. Now in their system, it's called you share. So you just shared, you shared and you found two people. 
The next thing you really need to do is anchor their product experience. You don't just enroll people with that 100 BV order. Remember, 100 BV minimum. Um, we have some awesome systems and other things that I don't want to get into that where you'll even can increase your income and also set your new people up for success. But I really want to just focus on the steps to Crystal Executive right now. So you want to anchor their product experience so they're excited about it. And again, you need to know why are they going on the products? Are they going on the products to lose weight? Then help them and make sure you tweak the system and you get them to commit so they do it. For more energy, for convenience in today's world, $3 meals that you just run in a blender for 35 seconds. In today's crazy world with all the homeschooling and the I can't get to the grocery store, that is a blessing in itself. So know why they're doing it and then really anchor them in the products. That means talking to them, checking in with them. If they are having some questions or concerns, um, you know, answering their questions. And if you can't, find someone else or a tool via Isogenics that will answer their question. And then while you're anchoring them, ask them a question. Are they interested in eating for free? Are they interested in sharing what their excitement, their positive experience with a couple of people so that they can eat for free? They can earn the money back to have their system paid for. And then if, if you can, cast a vision for the ability to eat for free long term. Again, possibly creating a part-time or full-time income from home. That's called they share. So you found two and you help them find two. And these are the units. I'm gonna do this. This is the unit that you need to create. You share, they share. Each individual customer or business builder that you bring on, you help them find two and share their excitement. And guess what? then you repeat that nine times. So it's really not rocket science. You do this, and then you do this, and when you look at this page, it's basically doing the same thing nine times. Five on your left side, and five on your right side. The reality is, Crystal Executive is 30 people, 30 100 point orders, and it it has to all hit in 30 days, but you can take six months to do it. So if you're doing it right and you're anchoring people and you're getting people to love and share the products, then with doing this in six months, you basically need to bring five, I mean, create, do it five per month. Um, so right, six times five is 30. I think I'm doing my math right. So if you're doing five, adding five people and five orders into the, into the, what it needs to look like at the end, and they're all anchored, then you'll get there. Um, I will say that momentum and in, this, in any business, right, in any profession is better. So yes, you can take the six months to do it, but I always, my personal approach, and I know for myself, is if whatever deadline I give myself, I usually go right up to the deadline. So I recommend that you, you set a, um, a shorter deadline, knowing that you have time to adjust because this is, especially for those of you who are new, this is an apprenticeship model. This is something that you're going to learn while you earn. We want to help you. And so, especially in the beginning when you're talking to people and sharing, you know, you're going to, you're going to learn some verbiage. You're going to um, make some mistakes. You're going to, I know I've made a ton and I'm still making them. That's how we learn in life. That's how we learn in this business. Um, so you're, you don't want to necessarily set a, a, a six month goal to start with. Maybe set a three month goal and, and, and work towards it for three months. But I can't tell you what works best in your world, but you have to commit, you have to decide, you have to be consistent. And another piece of the you share, they share is you need to bring your, um, your other team into it. So when you're sharing with someone else, um, bring your upline, bring the person who shared, who, who initially shared with you into the conversation. Let them help you. Again, learn while you earn apprenticeship model. Let them help you answer questions. Let them help you point people to the tools that we have. Don't feel like you need to be the expert. I see that more than anything else. People feel like they have to watch all the videos, understand all the information, um, you know, know everything about the products. Absolutely not. I've already told you what you need to do. You need to have a hundred point order, use the products, love the products, talk to enough people to find two who want to do it, anchor them, get them to love the products and want to share with two and then just repeat it nine more times. And whether that nine times takes 30 days, 
60 days, 90 days, 120 days, or 180 days, you still have the ability to earn 3,100 plus an additional thousand. Where's the additional thousand? You actually can do this 20 times and get paid for it. And that would really anchor your executive moving forward and your business. You would have an amazing, amazing residual business if you make that your final goal to actually basically do this twice. Okay, some tips that I wanna talk about. Um, when new people enroll, how many people have joined the gym? I wish you could raise your hand. Or joined Weight Watchers, or joined Jenny Craig, or joined any fitness, health, weight management program. I know that whenever I've done anything like that in the past, I never wanna do it alone. We are people who like to be in groups, which is why today is, these days are so challenging. So if you get excited, when I got excited about joining a gym, I never wanted to join a gym by myself. I wanna call my friends and say, hey, I'm gonna join this gym. It's, it looks really super cool. They've got classes I think we're gonna love. We can do, you know, motivate each other, accountability. You wanna join with me? And quite often we do these things with one or two people. So when you're talking to your person, ask them right at enrollment, right when they're getting excited. Oh my gosh, uh, Christine, I see that you, you know, gosh, you, you look like you've lost some weight. How are you doing it? You explain a little bit of my story and then send them a video. Hey, that looks really cool. Awesome. I want to, they want to do it too. Do you have a couple friends, your mom, your aunt, your cousin, your neighbor who might also do it? Because it'll be more fun if you do it with two other people and it'll be, you'll have accountability. Oh, and by the way, if you do it with two other people and they also invest in the system, you're going to eat for free. You're basically going to get your system for free. So that makes that go a little bit faster and a little bit more accountability. And then you anchor all three at the same time. So that's a little tip on how to make the little units go faster. Um, use terms that overcome objections. Um, a lot of times I hear people saying, how can I really talk to people in this environment? So many people are laid off on unemployment, um, don't have their jobs. Oh my gosh, we have a blessing. This is, we are in an, uh, a recession proof business. We sell food, we sell groceries delivered to your door. So we're like a pandemic proof because people, a lot of people are concerned about going to the grocery store, going to Costco. We have the ability to have um, superfood nutrition delivered directly to their door. And by the way, it's only $3 a meal and it's simple and convenient. No, pr very minimal prep, no dishes for these homeschooling moms. I feel so bad for them. Them trying to do that plus have nutritious meals so their kids are, you know, their brains are working and they're not bouncing off the of walls. We can do that for them. $3 a meal. We have a solution. We're not going to tax their, their checkbook. We're going to help their checkbook, um, have more money in it because it's going to cost more if they run to the grocery store. Um, we can re reallocate their grocery budget. You can take as little as $150, a 100 point order, reallocate it to buy our groceries, whether you're doing shakes, via snacks, if you're doing meals, if you're just doing things that, that mom needs to get through the day, like via I'm addicted. Um, and I don't have kids at home homeschooling, but you're going to reallocate money from your grocery budget. You're going to get more meals for your money. And by the way, you can turn it into an income generating asset. So I can take grocery money and turn it into an income generating asset, basically really not changing the outgo of money from my house because everybody's still eating. Okay. I, yes, I understand there's an economy that, you know, unemployment's high, there's stuff going on, but most people are still eating. So that's what, that is what we're sharing with them. And in this business, we eat our overhead. So I don't have to pay light bills. I don't have to take, pay a lease. I don't, I, I'm in the chamber. I'm watching all my friends who have small businesses. And it's so, it's such a struggle because they have overhead that they have to pay, but they can't even use it. They're not allowed to have people in their stores. Um, you know, they're, they aren't allowed to have employees, all these kind of things. We eat our overhead. I eat everything that I have, that I have to invest in my business. That's pretty powerful. So you can start this business by reallocating your groceries, a very small amount of money, and then you eat your overhead and that gives you the ability to create an income generating asset. Those are the kind of things that you can share with people to help them understand what a blessing you can be in their lives and what you can do. And then you can cast the vision if there's somebody for this and explain how simple it is. It's just by 
you sharing with them and they sharing with, they're sharing with two other people. Um, last tip that I'll tell you, sometimes people really wanna do this kind of stuff, but they have fear. They have people talking in their ear telling them that stuff never works. There's a whole bunch of reasons, but they really do wanna do it. And, and I had not, or life is busy or they've tried, just didn't talk to enough people, lots of reasons. But I will tell you that if you set this goal and you really, really, really wanna do this, and if you reach out to people that you have a real relationship with, friends, family, people you've known for a long time that care about you, that you think can benefit, be honest. People want to help you. People want to help us. It's okay to ask people to help you reach your goal. I, I have no problem doing that. I also have no problem telling them, and it's absolutely okay to say no to me. And Genuinely, they can feel that it's okay to say no to me, but it never hurts to ask because sometimes that will move people and give them the ability to, um, to jump, to try this, whether it's to get on the weight management system because they're afraid they might not lose weight and they hear everyone else is, so they're afraid because they really would love to have a home-based business, but they're afraid that they won't be able to do it. Um, but if they're doing it to help you, it takes all of that fear away because it's not about them. They can make it about you. And I'm not saying, you know, the best way to, to reach our goals is never to make it about us. But I do know that in some, that it's okay to ask for help because if someone in my tribe wanted help, I would want to help them. And I know you guys feel the same way. If your friend, family, neighbor, somebody from church was, had something going on, I mean, and they, hey, I'm doing this and I just need one more order to hit my goal. Would you mind? Um, and I, maybe there's somebody, you know, I, Hey, I know you're not doing, you know, you're not interested in losing weight or anything, but I've got these awesome energy drinks or these yummy snacks or these yummy decadence bars. They don't even taste like they're healthy, but they're amazing. So that's kind of a, a last tip that I wanted to share. Um, as far as kind of this whole crystal executive. Um, and again, it's not really about, Crystal Executive, it, what the company's put together is genius. If we do these actions and create these little units and can focus on one little unit at a time, you will create the most solid, stable, residual income stream. And why do you want that? You have to really think about that. You know, Fred is always clear on Saturday morning trainings about his why. Are you clear about your why and why you want to do that? And you just create those, you know, keep your why in front of you. You create these little units and just keep doing it over and over. 10 times to crystal executive and then 10 more times and you double it, making your business grounded and powerful and residual to the point where you can live the life that you really dream of that you may have never believed to be possible. Um, and if you're not somebody who wants, you know, that's not, everybody does this for a different reason. Maybe you just want to bless lives. Maybe you, um, you have, you know, you just wanted to ease the income responsibility off your spouse by earning an extra $500 a month or a thousand dollars a month, maybe to buy a new car, maybe to save up for that trip that we all need so badly right now to take your kids to Disney or to go to Hawaii or any of those go on. A, well, I don't know. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to say go on a cruise because I know that's pretty, pretty, uh, concerning for most people still in this environment, but, but all these things that we want to do. So again, I'm just going to go through that, like kind of the overview, decide and commit. You want to do it, set yourself up by success for success by knowing the plan, using the products and creating your story. You got to do the do. You got to talk to enough people to find a couple to say, yes, you're going to anchor them deeply in, in the, their experience, whatever their experience is, and then help them share that experience with two other people. And then you're gonna repeat that nine times. And if you really wanna go for it, you're gonna actually repeat that 19 times to really maximize um, not only the income opportunity in just the bonuses, but you're gonna maximize your business moving forward. The company, Isogenics, actually gives us the ability to do this every single year. It's called a reset. 
And the reason they know, do this is because they know it's a simple map we can follow. It's good for us and it's good for the company because it creates, a, it adds to the strong legacy company that they, that they already have and are growing. Um, and it creates a legacy for our business because every year we strengthen and solidify and we bless more lives. We help more people. We help people look better. We help people feel better. We help people live better. Um, anyway, so I don't know if Fred's still around, but kind of that's what I have to share. And oh, there he is. I didn't know if anyone had any questions. Uh, sweetie, I've been on turbo speed. I had my fancy pen on turbo speed. I actually took some of our CBD oil to try to slow myself down. I, I don't think it worked. Oh, well. Uh, uh, that was a tremendous, tremendous uh, presentation. And, and I want to give you kudos because you have embraced this uh, transition from our, our company, Zeej International, merging now with, uh, with Isagenics, uh, the, the nomenclature, the terminology. Um, folks, what you're watching right now is, is a future million dollar earner in Isagenics. It's a goal. Yeah, and, and, uh, you know, and obviously, you got to have the goal or else you're never going to get there. Uh, but uh, you are seeing, uh, I'm seeing it from a different perspective because I've been around this industry for decades, okay? I see things from a perspective that most people do not because of the tenure. Not that I'm special, okay? Because I am not special. Anybody, ask Christine, she knows me, right? I am, well, I am kind of special, but not in the good special sense, right? In the, uh, you know, put them all in the room, same room and lock the door special kind of kid, right? Uh, but uh, uh, you have gotten some tremendous information. What I'm going to do here, I've got a couple of questions I want to ask you, Christine. You know, we can kind of like dial in a little bit tighter on some, uh, some of the points that you made. And folks, if, if you're, especially if you're on a mobile device or on your computer, just hover over the screen or tap your screen, you will see a chat box. I'm going to monitor this chat box. If you have a question for Christine, uh, just write it in there. We'll address that right now. We've got a few minutes before we close for the morning. Uh, but one of the things that uh, that I that I always hear people saying, now you you said you know, talk to enough people. Okay, now that's going to be different for everybody, and I think that's something that's really important to talk about. Um, when you have when when I started out in this profession, I had to talk to a lot of people to get one person to say yes. But what I did is I. I, I, I learned a concept very early on in my career. It's called Sinaloa. A lot of people don't know what Sinaloa is. Uh, well, first of all, Sinaloa is a state in central Mexico. Okay, it's like Kansas of central of Mexico, but it's also an acronym for safety in numbers and law of averages. Now, everybody has their law of averages. In the beginning, I might have to talk to 10 or 15 or 20 people to get one person to say yes to buying my products or joining my business. As I got better, that law of averages improved. It went, went from you know, 15 or 20 down to one out of 10, then one out of five. And now, so long as I'm talking with the right person, you know, I might only talk to one or two people before I get somebody to buy my product or, or you know, join my business, but that's just because I've learned what to say and how to say it and frankly, it's a whole lot more about listening to the person that I'm talking to. Rather than trying to sell them something, what I'm listening for is a reason they need what I have. And so one of the most common questions I get on an ongoing basis is, uh, you know, I'm about to talk to my niece, I'm about to talk to you know, my boss, I'm about to talk to my neighbor, what should I say? Can you share a little bit about the things that you do when you're approaching people, how you approach people, whether it be for the product or for the business. Sure, so I, I almost never approach people with the intention initially to talk to them about isogenics or Zedra product or business. I, I approach people to create a relationship and, um, and even people who I have a relationship, because let's be honest, right? Most of us look at our warm market as a place, you know, our friends and family, um, who are the people we want to help most, work with most, be with most. So those are the people. So, you know, I would say that, and because I'm going to take your question is not somebody really close. When you start this, somebody really close, you can say, hey, I'm starting something new. Help me out. Join me. Check it out. Try the product. 
But when you're actually prospecting, especially in your warm market, you want to just make sure you're having an honest conversation because people don't want to know what you know. They want to know you care. So talk to them and ask a lot of questions. Ask how, like in this environment, it's awesome. Ask how they're doing with being stuck at home. Ask how they're feeling health-wise. Ask, and they're going to, people are going to bring stuff up. You know, you hear people talking about the quarantine 15. You hear people talking about, you know, I need to be social distanced from my refrigerator. So I would say that my approach is more <laughs> trying to get the conversation going, listening, and then maybe dropping something where they give me the opening. So if somebody says to me, oh my gosh, I've gained so much weight during this. Um, and this may be, I think more often than not in my world, it happens just, I wasn't, it wasn't the intention of the call or the meeting. And so then my answer is, oh wow, yeah, I, I see that on social media, but gosh, during this quarantine, Troy's lost 20 pounds and I lost 10. What? How are you doing that? Oh, well, you know, I have that little home-based business thing I do and we just got, we're merging with this other company and we were trying out this new system and it's like super easy. We love it. It tastes great. We're saving money like crazy. I never go to the grocery store and we're losing weight. Tell me more about it. Can I send you a video? So I would say that sometimes people get on the hunt. So they go out hunting people as opposed to trying to attract people. So it's a, it's a slower process because you can't just make a list to make a hundred phone calls, but I think it ups your numbers because if you're actually talking to people and listening, people, we all love to talk about, about ourselves. And I think in today's environment, people aren't getting to talk to anybody. So if you make phone calls, Facebook messages, Zoom meetings, people are going to say yes to get on with you and then, then just listen. And they'll give you an opening. So that's the biggest thing I think, Fred, you were right. You got to listen. I don't know that I can tell people this is what you say because it's going to be different for every person based on the conversation and how many, how many, you know, how far into the conversation or the relationship you are. You know, and that's a very good point. And, and I really want to express this to, to especially those of you that are relatively new to our profession. The last thing in the world you want to do is try to talk like, you know, Christine or talk like me, because it will not come off right. What you want to do is you want to pay attention to the concepts that we're sharing, but you want to use your own words. Uh, I'm going to give you three words, and these have been uh, you know, guiding philosophies of my life. I'm not going to say that I was always, you know, in 100% alignment with these philosophies growing up, uh, but I have learned over the years, and I've been around a long time. I'm older than dirt. Uh, I've, I've learned over the years that these three principles uh, will guide you to success in any endeavor, personal, physical, relationship, business, whatever. First one is honesty. Okay. Honesty is doing the right thing. And there is no question that you, you cannot do right by doing wrong. Okay, so honesty, be honest. There's nothing wrong with saying, you know, uh, uh, I've just gotten started with this. I'm not making a million dollars yet, but I'm working with people who are. And not only are they, are they interested in helping me, they're incredibly supportive, and they're sharing that with all of my team members. And you get to take the advantage of working with million dollar earners because you could work with me. Okay, honesty. Second one, integrity. Integrity is doing the right thing when nobody notices. Now see, sooner or later, if you become successful, if you f go to higher levels of financial prosperity, you will have the integrity challenge, okay? It's gonna be there, I guarantee it. And this was something that was taught to me many years ago, and, and I've relied on this as a, as a guide when making decisions. Care more about your customers' results that they get on the product than you care about the money you're gonna make from it. Care more about your new person's paycheck than you care about your own. And if you do those th two things, that will help you not just survive, but thrive when you, when you get that prosperity challenge. And it's going to happen. I guarantee it. It's going to happen. If you make enough money, it's going to happen. So honesty, that's doing the right thing. Integrity, that's doing the right thing when nobody's noticing. Here's the last one. 
authenticity. Be authentic. Be who you are. You are the greatest you that you can be. You can't become better by trying to be somebody else. And as I listened to Christine, and not just this morning, this morning was, 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 you know, was, was quite obvious, but because I know her and I've spent time, you know, uh, off duty time, as they say, when we, uh, you know, we attend large conventions or meetings or what have you. And then there's always that meeting after the meeting, when we get to have a little bit of dinner, you know, have a glass of wine or something. And Christine is who she is. She's one of the most authentic people I've ever met. You don't have to question what's on her mind. You don't want to question what she really means because she is 100% present and in the moment. And that authenticity is what is driving the success in her business. And so when she's talking about these kinds of things, don't say it her words, don't say my words, hear the concepts and then operate under those three operating principles, you know, honesty, integrity, authenticity. Uh, let me, let me take, uh, uh, kind of, uh, again, focus on this. Uh, oftentimes, and, and I've had this situation, uh, often, not so much anymore. These days, when I talk to somebody, I really don't care what they think about network marketing, what they think about health and, and wellness products, uh, what they think about, because, you know, think about it, all right? I am, uh, there wasn't, I went to my high school reunion a few years ago. It was the 106th reunion uh, or something like that. And, and I walked in the room and I thought to myself, damn, where did these, all these old fat people come from? You know, and everybody that saw me went, wow, Fred, you're doing good. And I'm going, I'm just doing the deal. You know, I mean, I don't know about doing good, uh, but, you know, I don't care what people think about health and nutrition because, you know, I weigh what I did in my 20s. Uh, you know, I'll work circles around, you know, guys that are 10, 15, 20, 30 years younger than me. And just between me and you, I look good, you know, for 106 years old, right? Uh, I don't care what people think about network marketing because you know what? They don't pay my bills. And guess yeah. who else doesn't pay my bills? The government. Okay, I support hundreds of people because I can, you know, network mark doesn't work. Don't tell my banker, don't tell my uh, real estate portfolio manager, because they're going to be scared to find out this thing doesn't work. Right. So I don't worry about those sort of things. But I have in the past learned a way to approach people that are maybe the kinds of people I'd really like, but I don't think are approachable by me. And, and what I've done, and, and you, you have done this a couple times, and I want you to kind of elaborate this on this concept of approaching somebody, not, and letting them know, not because you, you think they'd be interested, not because they, uh, you know, are, are interested in our products or our income opportunity, but they may know the people that we're looking, that I'm looking for that whole concept of would you help me out can you talk a little bit about that because your perspective on approaching somebody that you see is there feeling like you can't approach them but approach them with that concept of you might know the people i'm looking for could you help me absolutely so i would almost call that fishing in another pool right we all have our own pool of people that we fish in like we have our neighbors and our friends and our family and our church but we know people that have like other connections to people we don't even know. And a lot of times those are people that are, you know, we would consider, we would prejudge them to say they're not interested. Maybe they're a gym owner or a very successful insurance person. If you're in chamber or rotary, you know people that own businesses and have connections, maybe political people, like, you know, that have tons of connections with people that you think would never be interested in network marketing. They'd be like, network marketing, you mean that pyramid scheme? but they have a relationship with you and they trust you and they see that you're, 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 you're doing well, you're, whether you're invested in the community. So yes, approach them. And I do it all the time and say, hey, you know what I do. Um, I'm looking for some people to help. Um, you know people I don't know. Do you know anyone that could be impacted by these products or this business? 
Do you know people that maybe are struggling with weight loss? Do you know people that are struggling with health challenges? Do you know people right now who are struggling with where to get their food from? Um, do you know people that are struggling because they're on unemployment and they're not sure they're gonna come off unemployment? They don't know what it's gonna be like. And it's kind of interesting, and, and I always prep it with, with, I know you're not, you don't have the time, you don't have energy, this isn't something you would be interested in. And it's kind of intriguing how sometimes they'll say to me, well, why wouldn't I be interested in it? <laughs> and at least they'll take a look at it. And I will, you know, it, it's, it, it's individual whether or not they actually get involved. A lot of times, most of those people will actually become your customer. Honestly, at least they'll become your customer because the other piece is they want to refer people that they can say, yes, I'm doing it too. So, um, and, and again, if you've created that relationship where going back to what Fred said, they know you have honesty and integrity and you're genuinely trying to help people. You're not just trying to get a quick buck then they will refer people to you and potentially will um, take a look at what you're doing because we all know in this industry, and if you look at Zija or Isogenics, there are people that are at the top of the ranks that if you really looked at it, you would think they would never be interested. One of the people that I'm very impressed with in Isogenics is Lindsay Hopper. She was an optometrist. Who would, who would think to prospect their optometrist, right? Um, because you think you're an optometrist, you're a doctor, and her husband's a doctor. So you guys are making buku dollars. You you know you're in the medical field, so you sometimes think this health and wellness thing is all snake oil or whatever. Um, but she is she just hit her two million dollar earnings mark in isogenics. She left. She walked away from her practice. So um, going back to what Fred said, I think it's it takes the it takes the um, it, his this approach enables you to approach people that are on what we sometimes call your chicken list. By taking away, you take it away from them. I know you're not interested in this, but you and I have a relationship and I've got a goal and I would love it if you would help me. And you probably know some people who could use some extra income or want to drop some weight and get healthy. Would you mind referring some people to me here? I'll send you a video so you know what you're referring. Very good. Yeah. And, and I think one of the things that happens so often, I know that was my experience uh, when I first started we shy away from talking to the people that we really should be talking with. And we feel more comfortable talking to the people that we feel we have some credibility or authority with, and they're really not the people we should be talking to, okay? I mean, think about this for a minute. And it, it's an old phrase that I, I forget where I picked it up, but if you're gonna go to war, you best recruit the generals first. There'll be plenty of time to get the privates and the corporals and the sergeants, right? Get your generals first. Why not start your business with the top performers? Because you get those people, people that are already successful, like the optometrist you just mentioned. Look for people that are already successful. Look for people that are already, uh, you know, very busy. Because they're the people that will do the best job, right? You know, one of your uh, one of your uh, upline uh, uh, sponsors uh, or mentors is uh, is Pat Anderson. She's a classic example. That, you know, Pat and 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 her husband Jim, in his own right, were extremely successful business owners. I mean, they had the deal going on. What they didn't have was time freedom and residual income, which is exactly what this profession offers. And, you know, Pat's been able to retire her husband from his, you know, multiple, you know, six figure, uh, you know, profit business. Uh, she's been able to reduce the amount of businesses that she runs and she has a lot more fun. And you know what? She's healthy, wealthy, happy, plays golf, right? Yeah. Uh, one last thing, and we're, we're really running short on our time here, but I, I'd like you to really to kind of dial into this one a little bit too. You said something, a lot of people missed it, but I put a big old asterisk right there, okay, okay. On, the, on the page. You said, bring in the upline. And, it, it, you know, you talked about in terms of, you know, for, for support, but also for your own personal learning, your own personal education. Talk a little bit about that. So I tell everyone who I'm working with on my tribe that um, the people on my tribe that make money are the ones who use me. 
the ones who connect me. Because in the beginning, um, you really don't know what you're doing. And so it really helps to have someone guide you. That's what we're here for. Um, it, you know, the people, we're not here to sell you some product and send you off on your way and say, go make me a million dollars. That's not what, how this business works. This business works where you, you partner with the people that you personally enroll and you help them reach their success, whether they're customer, associate, whatever that is. And so for you, and they have to allow you to help them by including you in their conversations. And I will say that it, it's a weird um, thing about human nature. I enroll Susie. And Susie has a neighbor, Patty. Patty doesn't know who the heck I am. She knows Susie. But for some reason, if Susie tells her this is the greatest thing since sliced bread and she should really jump on the system, she's kind of, eh, I don't know if I want you to make money off me, people will say, or I don't know. But if Patty connects me to Susie and tells Susie, this is Christine, and she's been using these products, she's been doing this and edifies me and says why Patty should listen to me, all of a sudden, Patty's all ears, and she'll listen to me because Susie told me to trust her, and, and you get a much higher percentage of people actually saying yes. And it's a weird thing, and we can dissect it. That's a whole other probably book series of personal development. But the reality is when you bring, we call it peak pass plug, right? You peak somebody's interest by just talking to them about your story. You pass them a tool. So you send them a video or if they're visual, you send them something to read, put them to a website, whatever is fits your personal style. And then when they say, I'm interested or I have questions, you'd say, would you mind if I get you on with Fred Holmes? I'm kind of new at this. And I really want to make sure I get your questions answered fully and don't waste your time. So if I get him in this conversation, at least I know we can get the, and the questions answered so you can make the best decision for you. And in today's environment, we old school was three-way calls. And we do Zoom. Some people are a little put off by that. In today's high-tech environment, three-way Facebook message, three-way text, um, you know, three-way chats on Instagram. Just get someone else in the conversation and in the, in the mode of communication that your prospect likes and you will, you, your success rates will get much higher. I, it's always frustrating me when people come back and say, I've talked to everybody and nobody said yes. I haven't talked to anybody. What did you say? What are you? Oh, well, they said it's too expensive. Well, on an initial, if, it, if on an initial conversation you're talking about price and money, you're not doing it right. We need to talk. We need to add value first and that's what I will do for you. Okay, I can go on and on about this. <laughs> well, and, and uh, you know, Christine, I, I wish we had a lot more time because there's many things that, uh, you know, I took notes on that I'd like to, to get you to delve in on more. Uh, but uh, I'm going to share with you on, on behalf of everybody how much I appreciate the time you spent with us. You know, I'm looking, I'm monitoring the chat box here. The person after person after person has got a great job, Christine. Another great job, Christine. A path to follow. That was awesome. Very good, Christine. Um, you should be very, very pleased with the information that you provided because knowing you, it wasn't a matter of, you know, you did a great job, but a matter of how many people you helped. And, and I sincerely appreciate your time this morning. Uh, would you be willing to come back, uh, you know, sometime down the road and share on uh, another topic? Absolutely. I love doing this. Excellent. Well, it you see like how I just... <laughs> did you see how I just did that? Put her on the spot in front of all of you, right? Yeah, that's how Fred works. I know. <laughs> that's how I work. Right. I'll get it out of him at the next live event. <laughs> <laughs> Christine, thanks so much. Uh, give my best to Troy and the boys, all right? Bye, everybody. Go get it. You guys got this. Everybody can do it. <laughs> thanks, Christine. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that was a lot of fun, and it was particular fun for me to be able to see somebody like Christine rising through the ranks and taking the time to share the things that have been meaningful in her success with each and every one of you. Reach out to Chris, reach out to Christine. Uh, you can find her on Facebook, Christine Holland. Uh, you know, give her a shout out, give her a, a kudos because she did a great job and, and I can tell you we're gonna be hearing more from Christine. With that, I'm gonna wrap things up for today. Uh, hope you benefited from this. I certainly did and I gotta tell you, you know, and I'm up, you know, this isn't bragging or being egotistical. 35 years in the industry, I'm taking notes on what Christine said, okay? That's a clue. So this upcoming week, we're going to have a great week. Uh, a lot of new products have been added to the Zija catalog from Isogenics. Go check them out. 
Uh, I've just, a matter of fact, I just ordered the new skincare program. I don't think it's going to make me look, uh, you know, necessarily younger, but it'll make me feel better about how I look, right? Uh, but check out some of the new products. Um, you're going to have, uh, you know, uh, talks with Pat Anderson on Wednesday evening. You can access that broadcast uh, via her website, uh, clubmoringa.com. Uh, that's Wednesday evening, 9.30 Eastern time. Um, Thursday evening, we're going to have a, a short business presentation with a couple of local stories. Uh, you'll access that through my website, uh, fredhomes.com forward slash webinar. And then Saturday morning, uh, that one, by the way, that broadcast goes live at 8.30 p.m. Eastern time. And then uh, we'll be right back here Saturday morning with new distributor training and more information for each and every one of you. Uh, thanks for joining us. Hope this was helpful. Have a great rest of your week. And, and Christine, thank you so much, my dear. You were awesome. All right, folks. Have a great weekend. We'll see you.